What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be installing the OEM front air dam on my Mazda 3. Nice. Dude's over there yelling at his kid. Damn it Jimmy, go pick up the trash like your dad told you to. Now, if you saw from the thumbnail, you'll recognize that front lip. Now, it's not specifically for the turbo version. If you're looking for a body kit, you can actually buy that entire body kit that the turbo version comes with. It's not married to the turbo version. So let's just clear that up, those of you that don't know. Now, the reason why I got this front lip, there's a couple out there, but this is the one that caught my eye. When I was first on the market for this car, it just gives the car such an aggressive look up front now if you're looking for a different front lip this one isn't really your style there's a couple different lips that i know of i'll go ahead and list out some photos for you guys just to give you guys a couple more options um, when it comes to front lips and appearance mods So yeah, enough talking, let's just go ahead and jump into this install. So hopping underneath the car, on the lip itself, it's got eight little cutouts for eight screws. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight screws underneath the dust shield underneath the car that you're just gonna remove, slide the lip in, and then put the screws back in. That's really it. Okay guys, so we're gonna do our test fit just to see what we have. So it should just pop right into place. And it looks like it lines up pretty perfectly. Yeah, just like that. So if we look underneath, it should be lined up perfectly with those holes that we've removed. And it looks like it does. We're gonna peel back the double-sided tape right here. Just a little bit, just enough for us to pull it off. Grab some alcohol and clean off this black plastic bumper real quick. That way the double-sided tape can have a nice bond to the surface. There are so many rock chips on this plastic bumper, man. It's insane. And just looking up close at the paint in general, in the future, I'm gonna do like a, a review of the car. I know people, some people have been asking me to do a review of the car and stuff like that. I'm thinking I'm about to hit 15,000 miles, do like a 15,000 mile video. And then from there, do like 30, then 45, and then go from there. I know there's somebody on this, then YouTube that does that already, but let me know what you guys think about that. If y'all want to see an update, let me know. Leave it in the comments, and I'll, I'll consider doing it. All we have to do now is reinstall the eight bolts that we just removed. So with our bolts done, last thing we have to do is just remove our double-sided tape plastic. So we're just going to pull it towards the inside. Press it down, make sure the double-sided tape is connecting properly, which it seems to be. And that's it, that's the install complete. You just install the front lip. Give yourself a hand, proud of you. That is the installation complete of installing a front lip on your Mazda 3. Now, as I mentioned, this is the OEM version. The other versions, I can't really speak on. I'm gonna assume that they work and fit the same exact way. You might have a couple extra steps, but they should be pretty much the same in terms of installation. First initial impressions, I love it. I already told you guys, I've been wanting this for such a long time. This right here, this lip, is the whole reason why I bought this car. No, I'm just kidding. But it really gives a really nice, aggressive look to the car. I can't wait to go take some photos of this car with the new wheels and everything stay tuned guys We've got some fire photos coming so if you're not already a follow of my instagram what are you doing follow me on instagram so if this helped you out in any way or it was somewhat entertaining smash that like button if you're feeling so inclined please subscribe man i got some more mazda content coming out and you don't want to miss it with that said guys we'll see you in the next mazda video peace